everybody, this is Pam with Jesus Junk Journals, and I am going to work through these altered paper clips from the kit that I put out on Etsy. There is a link at the end of the description on here if you need to get to it. And we have, if you didn't see my sneak peek, there's Woodland Animals, four of those. There's four of these collaged um Oh, roses and ads, vintage ads, and um, those things. There's some leaves, and actually I have a page with, there's a ginkgo leaf to go with that. Here's some words that you can glue on them, and another flower, and then here are butterflies, and then here are birds. So I'm going to work through these. So I just cut one out to show you of, of the woodland animals. So you've got your inside panel and your outside panel. And these are made to go with the large paper clips from, you know, like an office supply store. So I'm gonna ink that, fold it. There's a little bitty dotted line on this one. Not sure if I did that on all of them. Actually, and see, this is where I get into trouble. I need to just get my scoreboard out and score it because it'll make a nicer fold. So, <laughs> if I can hold on to the scoring tool. Okay. All right, so there is that. And then the inside panel. And then let me get my paper clips because I haven't gotten those out yet. Okay, so the so I made sure that they would work with this size paper clip, which is kind of a, I think it's like one and it's like one and seven eighths inches long. I mean, you could use a small paper clip; it just won't hold as much when you try to clip it in. It'll it'll clip in, but it won't. You won't be able to put a lot of things under it to hold it. So this is your paper clip. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this inside panel and put it inside the paper clip, right in the middle. And then you're gonna take your glue and put glue all around it on both sides. And then you're gonna fold this over the top of it, like center that inside fold it over and then hold it now there's something else you can do you can cut a little slit right here and let the paper clip poke out and it actually lets you tie a ribbon to it and I will do that on some of these but this is kind of the basic altered paper clip idea so make sure it's stuck really well together. And then get out my Thought Life journal here and find a page. And so that just slips like that and clips in. All right, so there's the altered paper clips. Okay, so there's one, done. And um, so these are, this set right here, the, the Woodland Animal set is super easy and works fine. And the birds will be the same. And so I'm gonna do, I think I will do the leaves. Now the leaves, so they have individual, these, these all, you can interchange these inside panels. These I had to make special ones to fit each one. So the maple leaf goes to this one, oak leaf goes to this one, and then this blank one goes over here. So I think I will do that one next. Let me cut them out and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've cut out these leaves. So these are a little trickier and uh, I left a green border around them so you could not have a white edge if you didn't get it cut just exactly. Actually, this is gonna, 
I should have put lines on these. I'm gonna go ahead and score where that fold is. And then use the maple leaf with the maple leaf, obviously. So I'm just gonna fold that in half. I'm gonna try and score it. I'll just let it be folded. And so this is tighter. There's a little bit of a, it's tighter real estate on this one. And so same, same idea though. And the reason is because, so for these, in my mind, what's cool about the leaves is the cutout, right? Now what, and there's little ragged edges where the leaf is, is you know, jagged. So that makes it a little tougher to put things up under it. You know, they'll catch on these points. And so I kind of cut rounded. I didn't cut like real carefully around the points because I kind of wanted to smooth it out just a little bit to make it a little bit easier to clip things with. Anyway, I'm going to put this inside, make sure it fits and it does except right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue it and then I'll just use my scissors and clip that out and, and over here. So you take your inside, just like you did last time. Now what makes this a little trickier is there's not as much area to glue. So I, I added this tab here just so that you had more, more area to, to connect to the cover. Cause it, you know, this is, Pretty narrow here, I thought. So I'm going to put glue on both sides and just put that in there and hide it as best I can. Looks like it's sticking out a little bit there. Anything that sticks out though, no big deal. You just trim it and then hold on to it and make sure that it's glued really well. And it doesn't have to meet exactly because one leaf will be on one side of the page and the other leaf will be on the other side of the leaf, uh, page so they don't have to line up when you have it like this like see you can kind of see a white flesh because it's not quite folded exactly in half but that's fine okay so now i'm going to take my scissors and carefully try to clip off this little corner here and this little part here Yeah. Okay, so I'll show you again with, let's see, find a page that's pretty plain. And so then you just make sure you get it, get the, get your page, especially right now because the glue's not completely dry, I'm sure. And There it is. I need to touch that up with some ink, but there it is on that side and there it is on that side. So there's your altered paper clip for that. And I made this wider just for support, but I mean, if you wanted to, you could trim it down just a little bit more if you wanted to. I, I'm gonna leave mine alone. <laughs> but um, if you want it to be a little more delicate, let's see, get my ink and hit. Hit that one spot there. I think I got it. And then um, I'm gonna fold this in half. I didn't give myself a line, so I'm not using my, sorry for that, but I'm not using my scoring tool. And then this, let's see, this is, I don't know what kind of leaf this is, so I didn't put the name of it. It's the blank one. And so fold that in half and put that in the paper clip. And put glue all over the both sides. And that one's a fairly straightforward one. 
Looks like it's going to show just a hair down here at the bottom, maybe. If it does, just clip them off, clip those little corners off. And I did, I did uh, ink my leaves off camera before I started, so um, you might want to do that. That all that does is keep the white edges from showing. Okay, so let's check that one out. So this is my Thought Life journal. It was actually my first kit. And I'm going to be talking about it here on Throwback Thursday. Going back to it and talking about it. So um, if you want to hear about that, that's coming up. Okay, so... That looks fine, that looks fine. That one was pretty easy. Okay. So now we're gonna do the oak leaf. And, and so fold this in half, fold the, fold the leaf in half. Hope you guys are having a good time. Weather's starting to calm down here and be more fall-like. Um, on most days, we still have a couple days where it's like 89. <laughs> But uh, for the most part, it's starting to look like fall. Again, don't worry if there's a white flash. We did have a little bit of a kerfluffle the other night. Kerfuffle, however you say it. We had uh, 1030 at night. My German Shepherd and my little dog go out. When we hear this big commotion, put your paper in your clip. Put the glue around it. And the little dog comes running back in the house, Johnny let him in, and he jumps up on my lap and I'm like, oh my goodness, what have, what has happened? And it, it was a skunk. A skunk got out in our backyard. We have a fenced yard and the big dog, the German Shepherd killed, the, killed it. And the little dog and he both, and drug it all over the yard. And so they both were just reeked of skunk. And so now, we're fighting that smell in the house and probably will be for a couple of weeks. We, I took the little dog in and he jumped up on me. So I smell like skunks too. So I, I got in the shower with the little dog <laughs> and we gave him a shower and put tomato juice on him and washed him with soap and carried on. And the big dog had to wait till daylight. So this was at 1030 at night. So the next day, Johnny gives the German Shepherd the bath with the tomato juice and soap. But... Uh, the smell is still with us. So, anyway, that was exciting. <laughs> and not in a good way. <laughs> okay, so there is the oak leaf. Now, the thing about the oak leaf is it's got a lot of cutouts. You know, a lot of dips and... So, it's a little more fragile, obviously. And, let's see. I'm trying to find a page that doesn't have anything stuck to it that's just a single layer page is that one that's one here okay so so you just have to be a little more careful um, when you put it on your page make sure you get all the little pieces and parts separated and make sure you get the clip separated as well. This is hung up there, okay. Oh, maybe this is stopping it. Okay, so I thought it was cool looking because of the cutouts, but the cutouts also make it a little more difficult. So like I can just see stick the, a card or something up in there and it holds it. And what did I do get two? Oh, I got two pages. Oh, well. And no wonder I was having trouble. And stick your little card up in there like that. And I just thought it looked cool with all that cut out part. I hope you agree. Okay. So there's that one down. So now... I'm going to cut, oh, the butterfly. Okay, so the butterflies are a little tricky. And 
So I'm gonna cut the butterflies out and then I will be back. Okay, so I've cut the butterflies out and now the butterflies and this little guy here, <laughs> he's gonna be tricky to put in because he's got these little delicate things that can get bent. So he's a little, gotta be a little more careful with him. Now here's the inside for the multicolored butterflies. So what you're gonna do is cut this apart actually. And you're gonna put this piece inside of the paper clip. This one's really hmm, uh, cutting it close, so to speak, because we're going sideways. And so what we're gonna do is glue this to cover this up up here as close to the top probably where there's more room and then glue that on top of it. So they're all kind of uh, free floating pieces. They're not attached to each other with folding or anything. So I'm gonna put glue on both sides of this. And then, now ignore that. I printed a piece of paper that had a bad print on it. That should be white on yours. And put that there and then put this over it. And then hold it really good. Make sure it's glued really well because there's not much on each side of that paper clip to hold, hold it. So make sure you've got it glued in really well. And then if there's any edges that stick out, like right there, you just cut those off. And the reason I made these <clears throat> is because I like butterflies and I know a lot of you like butterflies. And I just thought it would be cool to have a, have a clip that was a butterfly, but um, it's kind of tricky because of the shape of a butterfly. They're, they're delicate and, let's see, let's see if I can find a plain page here. I'll just use this, I'll take this clip off. Now this one, okay, so the paper clip was glued in this way, so it actually needs to go this way, if I got it turned right. Remember where the end of your paper clip is, so you know which direction <clears throat> to push it, because you're gonna push it, let me show you paper clip, what I'm saying, is like, make sure you know which side it's on because it's only gonna push on this way. Obviously you couldn't put it on this side. It's gotta go one way. So keep track of where that is. And then very carefully, slide it on and it'll slide on up to where the paper clip is stopped right there. And so it's gonna stick out just a little bit. So this is a side clip. And um, so it's a little bit different. But there's your butterfly on both sides. And if you want to, you can kind of trim that top edge if you don't like that straight edge, but just be aware that that is part of what's holding your paper clip in. So that might be the compromise to get your butterfly. So there's that one. That one's probably the hardest one. So then let's do, okay, so then let's do the Monarch. So, I made him go a different direction. And so I, he doesn't have antennas. So I'm gonna cut this apart like I did on the other one. Put it together and put it in a paper clip. And then the Monarch, I'm also gonna cut apart. So I cut his antennas off because the antennas were just out in the white space. And so if you wanna try to cut out the antenna, God bless you, go ahead. But um, I'm thinking that if I miss the antenna, I'll just glue, I've seen where you take little bristles from paint brushes and glue on or little wires, things like that for the antenna if you want to. Um, the other ones, have, I made this big colored space, but I wanted to try one where I didn't have to do that. So 
kind of a compromise one way or the other. So on this one, I tried it this way. And so same deal, we're gonna put the glue on here and keep track of where this paper clip is. It's on this end and then you're gonna glue it to the wherever the most space is on here to cover it, cover it up. And it's actually sticking out just a little bit. So then glue the other butterfly on over it. Keep track of the end of it so it's on this end. And don't worry about them lining up perfectly again. So you glue it on, trim it up, got anything showing. I just flipped it around. I think the, <laughs> I think it was over here. So we'll find out. Okay, so it's best to let it dry, but I'm trying to do this for the video so you can hurry up and see how it works. So put your clip on, make sure you get it. Oh, I wonder. See, I had it the wrong way. That's what happens if you have it the wrong way. And my glue's not quite dry. Okay, let me try it this way. There, yeah. It goes on much easier when you get it going the right way. So it goes in that far. Again, it'll stick out, but I, I'm assuming most journals have tabs and things sticking out anyway, so it shouldn't really be a problem. It could even serve as a tab if you wanted it to. So that, uh, the advantage of it being this way is you don't have that big color space at the top, but you need to attach antenna if that bothers you. So there's that one. And then, let's see. We've got the blue one. And it's one of the ones that has the antennas on it and the big space at the top. So, blue butterfly. So we'll cut that apart. Fold it in half, put it in your paper clip, put glue on it, and then stick your butterflies on. Keep track of, <laughs> keep track of uh, which side that end of the paper clips on. Put the other butterfly on. And I didn't take my own advice. Okay, looks like it's on this end. <laughs> so let's check that out, what that looks like on a page. So, there you go. There's that clip. So that one looks fine. And then we have the white one, so same thing. We're gonna cut it apart. So there are the butterflies. Now, what's left? Oh yeah. Okay, so I tell you what. Um, and then here are little words that you can cut out and put on on the some of these, however you would like to do it. So I'm going to, oh, this one might be, this one is gonna be a little tricky just because it's gonna have a lot of stuff poking out. So, you know, it could be, but I also think it's gonna be really pretty. So let me cut it out and then I will be back and we will finish this up. Okay, I am back and I just thought I would do a little uh, public service announcement here. My glue was stopping up, my uh, art glitter glue, which it does quite frequently and yours probably does too if you don't take it apart every time. So um, I took the little metal tip off and I just thought I'd mention that what I found that works really well are these 
G-U-M gum. They're in the dental section. They're with the toothbrushes at Walmart and they have different sizes and this is the smallest one. And this one works really well for getting the glue out of that metal tip, you know, um, and getting those threads cleaned out really well. So I just thought I, I would mention that if, if you haven't tried that, that works really well. So kind of speeds up things because <laughs> what I was doing is like getting water in this and then blowing it out with my mouth, which also works, but this is a quick, quick and it works. So anyway, just a little side note there because I was noticing my glue was not working properly. And then this has a little cover for it. So uh, I went ahead and did, I put, I put a piece of tape over this just as a quick fix. And um, I went ahead and did the next thing I wanted to show you with one of them, I finished it already. And so, again, with the pliers, I keep saying, you know, if you don't have a pair of pliers, it's good to have a pair because there's some things that it's nice to have a good, strong grip on. And that's one of them. So let me put this in here because I'm not going to use it for a little bit. Okay. So I wanted to show you the next iteration of these. And I did one already. And so it's got the paper clip and it's sticking out. So I'm gonna just demonstrate that for you. So I took my little cutting board and I took an X-Acto knife. And so where are the, I'll just do it on these flower ones. So there is a line. If there's a line, I can score it. If there's not, I'll just fold it in half. But I put a very slight dotted line on this one. So I'm going to fold that. Pick out ribbons to put on them. Okay, so I'm going to fold them, fold them in half. I think these are all the same. Let me see. Like for the, for the woodland animals and the um, flowers, I think they're all the same. So I'll go ahead and score the inside panel on here. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the designed piece and you're gonna cut a little slit in the top of it. And you want it to be like in the middle, just a little bit. If it's a little bit bigger than a paper clip, it won't hurt anything, but you want it to be at least as big as the paper clip. So it pokes through. Let's see. And did I do that one? No, okay, like that. Okay, so then you take your inside panel and you put your paper clip on it. Now you're gonna leave, you're gonna poke this paper clip up just a little bit. And then you're gonna take this Oh, and we need to ink these too. Okay, so we'll use this one. So you take your glue and put glue all around it just like you did before. And you poke the paper clip up through, it's a little messy, but up through that slit. So you just want it to stick up just a little bit. And then you glue it. So now you have a little loop to put your ribbon on. Oh, yeah, don't forget to let it stick up <laughs> because it's hard to pull back out once you've glued it. Okay, so 
So I may have mentioned it, but I'm, I keep forgetting to write the name down and bring it upstairs so I can tell you. It's the book about people who have said that they've died and gone to heaven. It's near-death experiences. And there's a book by someone <laughs> about it. He is with Focus on the Family. He's a Baptist pastor, and he has done a lot of research on it. And so he's gotten it down to people who would have something to lose by lying about it. So like, you know, people, lawyers, doctors, people like that, who, whose credibility, it could really hurt their career if they were lying and they have nothing to gain by it. And then he has children. He has blind people who have testified to seeing heaven and telling things that they, no, there's no way they could have seen. And uh, anyway, it's a really interesting book. And um, I like to read those kind of books because it makes you think about heaven. I don't think we think in, about heaven enough. Okay, so there's the four with the... But it's a very encouraging and uplifting... Uh, there was a testimony from a, a, a man from India. He, he was a boy, and, you know, their family was uh, Hindu. And... You know, he was disillusioned by the Hindu thing because it wasn't wasn't working. <laughs> and he asked about, you know, they have all these different gods over there. And they, he heard about the God of light who, it, it, it sounded very much like God and Jesus. that He sent someone to die for our sins. And it took him several years to track it down and figure out what was going on. But he, he had... Uh, quite the experience and he laid down on a track on he, he was ready to die because he was just so distraught at one point and God appeared to him and told him that he was he was the God of light and his name was Jesus and so he became a Christian and he and his wife have served over in India for I think over 25 years and uh, served in just you know, some of the poorest places in India, some of the, the people who are hurting the worst, and uh, all because of his experience. So it's it's really cool. I think I'll go ahead and do these animal ones while I have everything ready. And I do want that same, I like that ribbon idea, so I'm going to go ahead and do these with the ribbon. So I'm planning on doing something. I don't know if I'll do it every week, but I'm going to call it Throwback Thursday. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to some of my old journals that I've made with my kits and just to go back through them and look at them and look for opportunities to add more things to them and just make them better. Because, you know, I go through these, I design a kit, I make it on my channel and put it on Etsy and then I move on to the next kit and I feel sometimes like I'm just constantly kind of almost hurrying to get these done to go to the next one and so I'm going to take some time and just look back at them and show them to you and a lot of you are new and so you haven't seen probably the final kits I don't know but um I feel like I'm designing them. I mean, my intention is to design them for a purpose in your life, in my life, and you know, someone's life who you might give it to. And and that purpose doesn't stop. So in other words, it's not like I'm doing a kit because it's trendy in the moment. I'm doing a kit that I think is something that would help people for years to come. And so like for instance, the first kit is Thought Life and it's all about the scriptures that help us get over fear and anxiety and worry and just reassure us so that we could turn to this journal if we do feel that way and see the see the verses about it and be encouraged and that's something that's going to be forever i think and so it doesn't expire it's not going to go out of style so to speak so i do want to review them because i i think there might be people out there who need them or want to give them to somebody who needs them. And, you know, I, I mean, I could always make a new kit and sell that, but I just feel like I prayed about it when I made the kit. You know, like, what should I do, Lord? What should I show in this kit? And what scriptures should I have? And 
you know, and so I do feel like I did my very best on that subject matter. So each one that, you know, I have hope and I have, um, you know, the different subjects. That was my intention with each one. And so I just feel like I'm going to go back. And also just from a design standpoint, I want to go back and add some things to, to them. Because I was just trying to make the kit and get it out there for people a lot of times. So we'll just slow down and have Throwback Thursday. <laughs> and I will just see what I did. See what have I done. And so hopefully that's something people will enjoy to see or will be helpful. I'm poking them through and then putting the glue. I just changed up my little procedure here. So either way, this is really pretty simple and it's a pretty cool little thing, I think. Whoever thought of this, whoever first came up with the idea, I take my hat off to you because it's really a neat thing to do, I think. Now there's one more page that I haven't done yet, and that is the page with the uh, that I made that has six Bible verses on it. So I need to cut these out and do them as well. So I th I'm going to do these, get them all done, and then I'll show you what they look like. Okay, so I've got all my ribbons put in. I'll show you. So I, I used all different, mainly snug and hug or hug and snug, and I used some netting on this one and some other ribbon on this, hug and snug. So that is how they turned out on that. And then I put some back ribbon on these. So then the only thing left is I was gonna show you the words and I gave you different words to use however you want, if you want. So some of them are too big to put on. I need a small one. I was going to go ahead and put um, a couple of words on this one because I felt like that looked kind of empty with just that stem up there, but you do whatever you want. So, faith and hope. Or no, little hope. <laughs> okay, so... You can do that with that. And there was a couple of them that had kind of an empty spot. That's kind of a big one. You could put Jesus Loves Me on there. I think I'll do that. Or one of the one of the bigger ones. Or the smaller ones. So if you don't use them on here, I am quite sure that you will find somewhere to put these little words, right? I didn't cut that out very well, did I? <laughs> but you can't really tell it once you glue them on. Oh, this one, I think. Yeah, I think I was going to put something down there. And I mean, you could do that one too. Yeah, I'll leave that one alone. <laughs> oh, this one maybe. Praise him. Yeah. Praise him with music. Might work. Okay, so then of course the words don't need words. They've already got words. So those are good. I guess all the, oh, the leaves, you know, I mean, actually, it might be kind of cute, especially on the ones with a lot of green. Maybe. Or not. <laughs> it's up to you. Or that one. I mean, that's kind of just a big giant leaf. If you if you like big giant leaves, that will work. I am gonna put a word on mine. Okay, and then I did it on that. So anyway, so we have, I, I actually haven't counted them yet. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 24. Okay, it looks like 24 uh, altered paper clips, and then I've still got some words left to use somewhere else. So, all right, well, I had a great time doing that. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did, and I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.